Hello everybody, I want to show you this little data set here. It actually comes from Tableau it's in the company, but what they're doing here is giving you a raw data set that has a lot of things that you can have fun playing with in a sandbox mode, uh, perhaps studying or practicing what you're learning in the classroom. So a lot of wonderful stuff here. I'm just going to walk through it a little bit with you. Not going to be too persnickety here. Uh, just know that the data ink isn't perfect. Uh, and um, it is what it is. This is it's a pretty robust data set. You've got a row ID, which you may have come to learn is more cosmetic. Uh, order ID, which is specific to a specific order, order date. So when the order was placed versus when it was shipped. Note that there is a difference. Uh, ship mode. So this might be a great situation where you compare the two dates in, in an, an if statement that's the same day to see if uh, there are any errors in the data set or any deviations from that. For example, uh, if we look here, same day shipping, it was ordered on the 5th, but shipped on the 6th. Is that technically same day shipping? Um, you know, things like that might be fun for you to explore. Um, a lot of the other stuff is dashboard worthy. So a lot of fun things with a dashboard that you can do with customer segment, um, uh, city or more specifically state, but there are a lot of countries in here. So you might want to specify by country. One of the things that I absolutely love here, folks, is the reality that some countries don't have postal codes or there may even be some in the United States that have missing data. So missing null data is in this data set. That's just wonderful to me to see. Also, look at this stuff right here. I'm just going to filter a few of these. That postal code of 1841. And I don't know how familiar with this, depending on where you're from. But in the East Coast, there are quite a few zip codes that start with a zero. So this is beautiful for me to see. And I'm so appreciative that Tableau has this. Because... The reality is your company will experience situations where the leading zero is missing. So whether that's a part number or a postal code or a customer ID, whatever the shape or reason, it, it's quite impossible that you might be missing a leading zero or four leading zeros if you have a situation where a control number is 00001841. So, Awesome stuff here for you to practice with. So appreciative that they put this data set together for a future study. But we got category, all kinds of wonderful dashboard stuff that you can practice with. Uh, sale, here's all that transactional stuff that we love to look at. We can forecast off of sales quantity, a discount level, um, profit. So these are profit dollars, uh, shipping cost, and the order priority. So a lot of fun stuff here uh, for you to discover, play with in a sandbox mode. Uh, really exciting here. Really happy to be able to share this with you. We have some return information. Uh, so I often think about returns, right? Like so order ID. You could go through here and do a VLOOKUP over here. Uh, add some new content to your spreadsheet, a VLOOKUP that says whether this, re this order was returned, yes or no. Because oftentimes, folks, we forget about that, right? So the, the typical data analyst coming out of school, you know, thinks the world's his or her oyster because they learned all these wonderful skills, uh, business acumen if you come from our program, uh, and then boom, um, you're faced with this idea of, well, look at all the sales we've made. Yeah, but kind of not really because you have – how many returns do we have here? Not too bad. We have 1,174 returns here. So um, not too bad. But still, something to be thinking about is sometimes your customers return stuff. All right? And so technically, yeah, you made a sale, but the sale was returned. And sometimes that happens in the next month. So if you create a line chart, uh, a great example of, of using this file might be create a line chart off of the data as is, based on months, so, so a total uh, sales for the month, and then bring in a new one where you bring in the returns, you know, removed. So you have two lines going on your line chart. 
Um, in most cases, 1,100 rows a day on might not be significant, but I think it would be really cool in a dashboard or in another environment where you could isolate out some of that stuff. So again, love this file, love this file. Have fun.